My name is Allison Lee. I'm a graduate student in the Vernet Lab at Scripps Institution of Oceanography, and I've been invited on board the Hebridean Sky as a guest scientist. As project lead to Fjord Fido, I'm down here to see how the Citizen Science Project is operating in the field. Bob and Maria are part of the expedition team and have been working down here for years. When I'm back in the lab, they're out here keeping the project running. Before going out into the field, we'll need to dress properly for the elements. Antarctica is the coldest, driest, and windiest place in the world. Dressing requires warm, waterproof layers. And layers. And layers. The weather can change without warning, and we'll be out there for quite some time. We cruise around to the back of the ship to pick up our citizen scientists. After locating our first GPS coordinate, we're on our way. Each individual is assigned a role. We have a scribe, we have someone who drops the secchi disc overboard, another who's in charge of holding the net as we tow behind the zodiac, and another who's in charge of filtering. During this time, we can talk about the importance of science in this region, the nature of the ecosystem, Passengers even start to learn about and appreciate phytoplankton. We're interested in understanding how increasing levels of glacial meltwater influence phytoplankton communities amongst various fjords. This remote continent plays a powerful role in global processes, and something as small as melting glaciers can have a huge impact on how these ecosystems function. Back on board, the education continues. We can put those samples under the microscope so guests can see the ocean forest up close. These mesmerizing phytoplankton control all of the other animals that they came here to see. Sharing science is powerful. To share findings and excitement, to increase the knowledge and understanding so passengers can gain a perspective on ocean life not previously considered. From the large animals all the way down to the microscopic and to engage everyone who visits in the legacy of polar research that they can help to make valuable contributions to science whether in the field or back at home it's all connected <laughs>